What's up everybody? This is Casio with Casio Logic and I got a video for you. Before we start, first of all, you right. 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 I know I was supposed to make a video and have you guys a video out by June 1st and I told myself I was going to have that thing ready and done, but the the events that are happening right now are going to change the course of the world of humanity. And I really thought that that needed more attention than a Casio Logic video. I know some of y'all y'all saw me I'm out there busting the move. Appreciate appreciate that. Appreciate the love. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate that. So it's been two years since I made a Casio Logic video. I've been in New York City. I've been living in New York, going to film school at NYU. The recent events that's happened in America have been uns unsettling especially unsettling if you're a black male. The thing is that I've been a black man my entire life. The things that people are just now seeing, I've seen for my entire existence. Ever since I've been alive, I've known everything that people are just now seeing, which is interesting because people have been speaking about the same issue for as long as I can remember. The fact that it took so long for people to actually consider that what these people were saying have been true, even that in itself is heartbreaking. This is a truth that every black man has had to deal with. And I've dealt with it throughout my entire life also. And now people's eyes are open to the truth. I will say this, 2020 is a year of clear vision. This year is 2020. Everything that has been hidden or not been able to be seen this year will show it to be true. This year, 2020 is the year that we will have clear vision. You heard it here on Casio Logic. But the things that you've been blinded to, you will see this year. This year will show you the truth. It's exhausting to constantly see the same thing happen over and over and over again. And you do everything you can to convince people that this is actually happening and you get turned down. That has been my experience. I can say with every single ounce of my being, this is happening. We are being disproportionately killed. And I have to argue with people about that. If you're a person who is not enraged and you feel nothing for the life of another human being, that says something about you. You may want to reevaluate how you view human life. At any rate, I just came back from a journey and I've been on a journey and I have been on a journey of self-discovery, just exploration. I wanted to see what I could do. I wanted to see if I could make it in the industry that I want to make it into. I wanted to see what, what I was made of. So I put myself out there and I went and I tried and I got accepted to NYU and here I am on the other side of being an NYU graduate. Being able to say that feels good. I met amazing, amazing people at NYU. I was able to make films there, the films that I wanted to make, I was able to make them there. NYU gave me the, the tools to make these films. You know, they, 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 they gave me what I needed to do what it is that I wanted to do. And I was happy to be there for the time that I was there. The last three months hasn't proven anything to us. It should definitely show us how fragile life is and how short life is. To everyone out there, do what it is that you want to do in life. Don't wait. Don't tell yourself you can't do something. Just work hard at it. The thing is, is that people, they want to do a lot of things in their lives, but they don't know how and they don't think that they can. You can do anything. You can learn to do anything. Give yourself as much information as possible. Before you can tell yourself that you can't do something, read up on whatever it is you want to do. Go look at how to do it, watch videos on it, whatever it is. Writing, dancing, drawing, filmmaking. We need to hear everyone's voice. And sometimes we hold ourselves back. Sometimes we allow for our beliefs to hold us back from us doing what we need to do and us engaging in what we know is the one thing that we love to do. More than likely nowadays, there's a video on how to do it, books on how to do it, articles written on how to do it. There are people who have done what you want to do and they can talk to you and tell you how to do it. My advice is to do it, just do it. And do the work. Everything takes work. Do the work. 
you'll find that it's not as hard as you thought it was. A lot of us deal with something called imposter syndrome. This is something I dealt with throughout my entire time in film school. I believe that I did not belong there. Images that we see about black men, not a lot of those images give us the confidence that we need in order to do great things. So I urge everyone while you still can, do what you love to do. I was very distraught over the death of George Floyd. I turned my resources and my energy to discussing black lives. I am a black man. My life is all I have. And if I can do something to, to allow for other people to see my life the way I see my life, then that's what I'm gonna put my energy to. And that's what I did. You know, with that, sometimes it comes people that don't understand. You have to explain things to them that seem so obvious. It's almost as if people just don't want to see the truth because they think that they'll be labeled racist. But sometimes you have to look and accept and you say, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I am wrong. And that's the greatest thing you could ever say to yourself. I was wrong and I'm sorry. That's humility. That's what we need to survive as a nation. We need humility the truth. We need things to change. It's disheartening to see a person so blatantly have their life taken away from them with no regard by the individual responsible. See and hear people try to defend or rally about the way people protest instead of rallying against the reason why they're protesting. It's like you're missing the entire point. My time at NYU is I learned a lot about myself, learned a lot about my strengths, what I'm good at, what I'm not good at, what I can change, what I should keep, and how I should move forward. <sighs> about Casio Logic, I love my channel. I like it. I like it a lot. I had a lot of fun doing Casio Logic. I'd like for you guys to come back. I love talking about movies. I love discussing movies, critiquing movies. One reason why I started doing Casio Logic is because I did not see a lot of black movie critics. I simply wanted to provide a, a movie critique aspect from a person of color. I don't wanna hit you guys with too much. I'm gonna start a vlog. And this is my, verse, my, my, my first vlog where I just kinda talk to you guys. One thing I didn't really do was talk to, is, is talk to the people that, that, that support me. I appreciate. Every single person that supported me throughout throughout my life. Thank you all. I really, really seriously thank you all. What would you like to see from me? What do you want from Casio Logic? Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Anything at all? I'll do my best to to answer it in, in the Q&A video. I just want to be me. I want to be myself. I want to be silly. I want to be, I want to be whatever I want to be. You know, and I don't want to think about what people have to say about me. And I want my channel to reflect that. I'm just having fun. And I just, I just want to have fun. I know how important it is to be able to just kind of laugh every now and again, just so that you're not too overwhelmed with everything happening around you. Hopefully I can provide you with that escape. But um, this video is just a video that I had to make, um, speaking to everybody to say thank you. I appreciate you all. I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. Please do your best to support the efforts of Black Lives Matter. We really appreciate it. I was able to make a film in film school, it was called Blackface. The reason why I made it is four years ago and the film is still relevant. NYU allowed for me to, to speak, put my voice out there. I'm encouraging you all right now to do the same. Use your voice. Thank you guys for, for, for coming back and, and listening and watching and everything. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, stay tuned. I really appreciate you all being patient with me. Please don't forget in the comment section below, Give me your questions for me to answer in my next Q&A video. And also, don't forget to let me know what videos you would like to see from me, Casio Logic. I'm happy to be back doing my YouTube channel. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate you guys for engaging me and encouraging me to, to do more videos and things like that. Thank you, guys. So that's all I got for right now. Please stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time. This is Casio with Casio Logic reminding you, don't believe. Lex so dope. Cassio, 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 Cassio,